The first half of King of the Hill is incredibly funny. I laughed out loud so many times. The second half of the episode is a little bit slower. It is thought-provoking. It's maybe not as funny, but I still enjoyed it. This is the 15th episode of the third season of Cheers, directed, of course, by the wonderful James Burroughs. And there will be spoilers from this point on as I talk about various things that I enjoyed. So we start off with a pretty decent opener with Coach having bought a billiard buddy pool table adapter. And I rather enjoyed that part. We also come back to that very briefly later on in the episode for a little bit of comedy. That's not often the case with openers. The cold openers are often there and then we move on and that's it. But this one, we got a little bit more out of it, which I rather liked. We then hear from Norm and learn that his mother-in-law is in town and uh, and he's left her in the car. And one of my favourite jokes in the whole episode it's an, exchange, <laughs> it's an exchange between Cliff and Carla. And as I said, I'm, there were spoilers here. I'm going to tell you what the joke is. And Cliff suggests that Norm takes his mother-in-law down to Florida. So they get onto the topic of Florida. And Cliff says, do you know how they treat solid waste? And <laughs> what Carla, Carla replies with, I just thought was so funny. And and as I said, there were several other times where I genuinely laughed out loud. Most of it was with things that Carla said, but not, not exclusively. But the first half of this episode was just absolutely fantastic. The main narrative focuses on the fact that Sam is doing a uh, playing a game, uh, a baseball game, and he's become very, very competitive. And there's a little bit of sexism. He's playing against these women, and there are a few you know, sexist comments here and there, but nothing, nothing too extreme. And in his victory, he became a bit of a gloater and he didn't necessarily play the nicest. This game was meant to be for fun and he definitely took it a little bit too seriously. And the episode then discusses about Sam's competitive nature and his, his fear of losing. And we do have an interesting discussion between Sam and Diane, pretty much the whole of the second half of the episode, give or take, takes place in the back room. I'll be honest, it's not the most interesting environment. That part of the bar is just visually not that interesting, but it's fine. And they have this discussion. And Diane suggests that Sam turn to drink because of his fear of losing, which I thought was quite an interesting analysis. And then Sam tells a story about toast, which is more interesting than I made it sound. And then they play ping pong. And it is a little bit slow. I have to say the second half, while interesting, is definitely a lot slower than the first half of the episode. It's not really funny. It's not a very funny part of the episode. There are you know bits here and there and, and little lines that I like, things that were amusing. But in general, it's a, it's a big contrast. The first half of the episode, where I laughed out loud a lot, to the second, not so much. And I'm realising with rewatching Cheers, that actually, and I'm not going to put this in writing because I'm not 100% confident that this is the case, but I feel like I laugh out loud and I find things incredibly funny when they're not from Sam or Diane. That's not to say Sam and Diane aren't funny. And in fact, there was something Diane said in this that did make me laugh out loud. And I'll share that in a moment. But in general, whenever I say something is exceptionally funny, it's made me laugh. It's made me spit with laughter. It's not usually Sam or Diane. It's usually Carla or Cliff or Norm or Coach. And that's something that I'm realising with rewatching the series. So I'm going to try and make a conscious effort to analyse that thought as I watch future episodes. But try and work out how often Sam and Diane make me laugh out loud compared to the other characters. We'll see. That's something I, I'm, I'm quite interested to, to look at in more detail. But the thing, <laughs> the thing that Diane made me, uh, the thing that Diane said that made me laugh out loud, it's not just what she said, but it's the delivery. Shelley Long is absolutely fantastic. And it's when she called Sam, uh, she said, you are a sand flea. And the word sand flea was kind of stretched out a little bit. And it was just... <laughs> <laughs> highly, highly, highly amusing. So there are moments when Sam and Diane make me laugh out loud and I absolutely enjoyed the episode. First half, very, very funny. Second half, 
not so much, but still thought provoking. It's worth pointing out that the sand flea comment was said in the bar before they moved to the back room. Again, solidifying the fact for me that the back room aspect just, it wasn't very funny. It wasn't bad, it was interesting, but it wasn't funny for me. But nevertheless, really enjoyed the episode. I had a lot of laughs with this one. King of the Hill is partly thought-provoking, partly very, very funny, with some really brilliant performances. It's definitely a really good episode.